All right, you guys, um, we have something to tell you and we're not proud of it, or maybe we are, I don't know. Um, but we have been clickbaiting our thumbnails. And yeah, that's it. Now it's not exactly what you think though, guys. Do not miss any of this. Scott and I will show you guys our own clickbait thumbnails. Yes, real life clickbait thumbnails and what we use to test and see what people would say and what happened to our views and our subscribers and how each of these videos today broke hundreds of thousands or millions of views. Scott's own video even got 31 million views. Yes, you heard that right, 31 million. All right, let's get started. The first thumbnail that I ever experimented with clickbait on is called The Biggest Spider Ever. This is one of my biggest videos. This actually is my biggest video. It's 31, almost 31 million views to it. And the thumbnail, I knew when I took it, it was going to be a gem. I actually had a feeling the entire time that people were going to dig this thumbnail. I didn't think that it was going to get 31 million views, but it ultimately did. Now, what I did with this video, the whole video is about a spider. So I'm not lying or deceiving the audience. The video is about a spider. And that's probably... Tip number one that I'd say, if you want to use clickbait, make sure that you're not actually deceiving yeah. your audience. Do not lie. That your do video not is about you. something else. Yes, yep. do not. So what we did for this thumbnail was I actually had a Halloween prop that was a giant metal spider. And I put it on my counter, made it look like a real spider. And really, you guys, all I did was take a picture of this. And then I put biggest spider on the thumbnail. Ultimately, like it's a terrible thumbnail. You look at it and you just think this is terrible. But sometimes it's the terrible thumbnails that end up doing the best because they sure. feel so authentic. And so the more authenticity you can bring into your thumbnails, the better it is. And some of my favorite clickbaited thumbnails actually just look very authentic. Yeah, this one, like I'm, I'm actually surprised because I'm looking at it right now. It's actually got really low brightness, which we we say increase the brightness. I mean, as a general rule, this one's kind of dark. Obviously, I guess that can go well with just a, it, it looks authentic. That's what it is, man. Like people probably click this thinking that's a real spider, right? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, but it, yeah, it looks like clearly fake. But I mean, I guess if you're just scrolling and you're just like, you know, your, your title is biggest spider ever. And then it just on the thumbnail says massive spider. And then it's just a huge spider. It's one of those videos you click before you even realize you're clicking it. Like you don't even know why you're clicking it. You probably know it's fake, but you're still clicking it. And look at this, 31 million <laughs> views later. And, and the cool thing about this is because this video is a skit, we actually have a higher audience retention. And so it's about a 50% audience retention. People will comment and watch half of it. And that also has led to the success of the video. So you don't just think that if you just clickbait something, you know, by putting a picture of a pretty girl up there or something like that, that it's going to automatically get you a lot of views. Yeah. Those days are long gone. Now you actually have to have clickbait that represents your video and and if youtube sees that people are coming and clicking on your video but they're not watching very much of it they're not going to share it they're not going to so make it. sure the content of your thumbnail matches the content yeah. in your video yeah because that at its core i mean youtube wants to make money right so if people aren't on your video for a long time they're not seeing more ads therefore youtube isn't making a lot of money off your video i mean that's that's the entire like theory and idea behind more watch time. So I'm actually surprised you actually pulled 50% watch time on this video over 31 million views. That blows my mind, man. So let's talk about one of my videos now and how I clickbaited it and why I clickbaited it. And again, when Scott and I say clickbait, we're not just saying go lie and deceive your viewers, right? It's more so like making things way more dramatic or exciting than, than they actually are because we're supposed to do that. We are in the entertainment field. So I have this video here. It's called Fortnite is dying pros say right that title alone fortnite is dying right that's a huge thing in the fortnite community if you guys are familiar with gaming or if you're not everybody this is a common thing people say fortnite is dying so what do i do i throw that in a title it already gets an emotional charge from people it says in quotes it's dying right right next to it and below it shutting down i mean this seems really i, I think the word that comes to me scott is urgent like you have to click now. You have to find out now. This looks like big news. And then I even put an article on it. I put a couple of uh, uh, pros tweets and this is something I do. This is something that's really effective. People like to see um, their idols, I guess the celebrities in the Fortnite community and what they say about it. You have Ninja really mad, his fist up in the air. And then right below it says highlighted in yellow, will Fortnite be canceled in 2020? Dun, dun, dun. 
You know what I mean? Nice. I don't yeah. know. Scott, how does this thumbnail make you feel? You know what I like about the thumbnail? <laughs> again, like we've talked about this hundreds of times, right? Is you yeah. get people to ask a question. That's and so if your clickbait, if your thumbnail gets someone to stop and say, oh, what's this all about? Or what, what's the problem? Or what's going on here? Then they have asked themselves a question which they naturally have to read more, watch more, you know, do whatever more, click on it in order to get that question answered. So your clickbait ultimately should just be to get people to ask themselves a question. Right. And one of the thumbnails that we, re we go back to all the time was that Mark Rober thumbnail where he's holding up his thumb underwater and there's blood coming out of his thumb and there's a shark behind him. That's the entire thumbnail. Your yep. question is, did he get eaten by the shark, right? You get your audience to ask a question, you're going to win the click. All right. So the next one that I'm going to show you guys is one of my favorite videos of all time. We actually did collaboration with our local fire department. This one is called emergency pool, drowning, rescue, training, CPR, water, and safety drills. Now here's the deal already from the beginning, right? We made this all in caps. We made it super emotional. I'm going to talk about the title real quick. The title was truncated. I, I knew exactly where the title would be truncated. And so all you see when you click on the video or when you search the video is emergency pool, drowning rescue, and then dot, dot, genius. dot. If you look at it on my video, it's, or on my channel, it goes emergency pool, drowning rescue, dot, dot, dot. So when people see that title, they're all already intrigued by what is this video going to be about? Who drowned? Who is, is, is whoever yeah. almost drowned safe? You know, did she get saved? Those types of things. And I wanted people to react that way. And so yeah, I it doesn't, it doesn't show the word training, right? It cuts it off right there. So you think it's something real that's happening. You're not deceiving people. You're not lying to them, but at the same time, you kind of built you you intentionally built up that mystery you know what i mean it's always that line man 100 so clickbaiting guys like scott's not deceiving and lying is he baiting a click though and yes we all should what do you want Absolutely. more views on your video or do you want less we should always be baiting clicks that's what everybody does every everything online is to get more views and clicks so what scott did i mean that was that was genius just knowing exactly where well, I, I, I i think there's a character limit out there too it's like 70 <laughs> or so characters or something it that cuts 55? it off and da, da, da. is that what it is i think it's we're gonna have to look up that yeah we're, if you guys know <laughs> just leave it down in the comments we're, we're the experts by the way <laughs> yeah, leave it in the comments but, uh, i mean yeah this is this is genius man i mean plus i mean just a good authentic looking thumbnail that looks like something actually is happening like not just a training it looks like it's actually really happening yeah so there were some a couple strategies that we used in the thumbnail now obviously this whole video was about teaching kids and families how to actually rescue somebody who is drowning and so there was a lot of like intention behind it going viral because we wanted this content to get in front of a lot of people so that way yeah, they could actually helpful. learn how to save somebody if they needed it so with this thumbnail um what we did was we had the fire department put on a mock rescue with my daughter and so they did the entire thing where they they pull her out of the water they hook her up to this machine they turn her on her side to make sure that she's draining water out of her lungs and uh, and i took a picture of them in action and it looks real now i obviously i didn't want to deceive our audience too much and so i put rescue drills on the back of one of the firefighter shirts, but it oh, looks okay, like okay. it it's blended into the shirt. It looks like it's printed oh, on the shirt. So I there's some that. and it yeah, never there, it never like occurred to me. I thought I, I was thinking that was like their fire rescue shirts. Like it, it doesn't look like it's like a fire department like title or something. Yeah, that was genius, man. So it says rescue <laughs> drills right on the thumbnail. I, I never I've seen this thumbnail so many times. And that subtlety is what makes some thumbnails so good, man. That's that was that was genius. Yeah. And that was one of those things where I, I knew from one of our previous thumbnails that we were going to get a lot of heat from people. If we didn't say that it was drills, if people actually just oh. thought that it was, you know, they were just calling us out for clickbait. And yeah. so I made sure to put rescue drills somewhere on the, on the thumbnail. So that way people could differentiate between what was true. Yeah, and Cause there is an real. element you kind of have to protect yourself. Like if you're just going to clickbait and you're just going to lie, you're going to get a lot of hate and, and, and deservedly so, because you should not be lying and deceiving. But also at the same time, if you're trying to make things more dramatic and stuff and somebody goes, well, why did you say this? And you're like, well, did you watch the video? Like always be prepared to be able to defend yourself with the choices you're making on your thumbnail. Cause you don't want to be a liar. Cause that's, I mean, that's going to be hard to shake. So speaking of um, my next video that I wanted to pull up here, the end of Tifu. This one just went out today, just this morning. I put a lot of thought in the title and the thumbnail because, of course, they go hand in hand. And uh, most gamers, I don't know, Scott, if, you, if family vlogging community actually says this, but like we say, ninety percent of your video is thumbnail and title. 
Mm-hmm. It's huge because it, it, you can have the best video in the world. You, if you can't get people in the door, it, they don't care. I titled this video, The End of Tifu. The other title that I was thinking of titling it was, um, I think it was The Rise and Fall of Tifu, right? It's good, but not as like, it, it, not necessarily clickbait, it but again, it's like a strong, yeah, it's a bold statement. The end of Tifu, what does he mean? And then you go in and it's really like a, 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 a researched, like, you know, it's point of views. It's, it's what the community thinks on it. I mean, it's just like this all angles up. Is this the end of Tifu? Right? So I could have put the end of Tifu question mark, but really the topic of the video is the end of Tifu in Fortnite. Did I have to say that? No. Could I have said that and just, you know, been completely transparent? Yes. But again, I am in a, I, I'm trying to entertain people. And what's the word? Dramatize? Dramatize. I almost said dramatize. I, <laughs> I, I almost said that, that too, actually. <laughs> dramatize. I mean, just like every movie does. It's not like, it's not like you're going to name a movie like guy goes to the store and gets hurt, right? I mean, it's going to be something that makes it more <laughs> exciting to listen to. So the thumbnail itself, just says the end of Tifu. It's got Tifu's face because the human face obviously is very important. You need to get those in your thumbnails if you guys can. And there's red, there's green, like up, kind of down. There's an explosion behind him, right? It looks very urgent, like something you need to click on. And it's one of those thumbnails. I'm hoping that if you're scrolling by it, it's like you almost need to scroll back up just because you're like, okay, I've, I've got to see that video. We'll see. We'll see how it, so far it's doing well. I mean, it's got like 35,000 views in the first hour. So, you know, I'll take it. And then when hopefully it'll keep going up from there. Dude, you know what I thought that said? I thought it said the end of tofu. And I was yeah, like, dude, a lot of people call baby. tofu. Get, yeah. rid of, get rid of tofu. <laughs> yeah, get <laughs> the end of tofu. <laughs> All right, you guys, some other things that we want to mention before we uh, wrap this video up. Number one, make sure that you have emotion in your thumbnails. Emotion sells. Emotion sells. And if you can make somebody look like they're crying, that does better than if you can make somebody look like they're laughing. Negativity true. typically works better than positivity. And that's a sad reality that we live in, but true. it is true. So utilize it to your benefit. If your videos are uh, all inspiring and motivational, use negativity to draw people in and then inspire and them and motivate it. them in your videos. But uh, make sure that your thumbnails have emotion in them because emotion does work. The other thing that we've talked about in, in our previous videos, and I'm just gonna leave a link, we're gonna put a link right up there so you guys can uh, you guys can check out our uh, thumbnail video where we actually teach you a, a lot more of this type of stuff. Another a point that I want to bring up though is to make sure that your thumbnails are bright and consistent and that you have some type of an element that is uh, consistent up, upon all of your thumbnails. Say, pretend that you're going to take 10 of your thumbnails, put them in a pile of a thousand other people's thumbnails. Could your audience pick out your thumbnails that were intermixed with all those other thumbnails? You want that answer to be yes, because mm -hmm. then they'll be able to spot your thumbnails from a mile away when they're scrolling through YouTube. Build, the brand, Build that brand, baby. You got Build it, baby. Out. All right, you guys, that's all we got for today. Go out there and clickbait some thumbnails. If you're interested <laughs> in checking out our course, we got a link down in the description. Yeah, also, love. get your free 30-day trial to TubeBuddy. We have a link down in the description there. It's a 30-day trial to Legend. That typically costs 50 bucks a month. So if you want that free 30 days, click the link down in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.